Hello, welcome back everyone. Yes, it's Professor Gray with you here one more time. Uh, it's week 14 of our class and we're all done with our study for the listening lab and the main lecture book. And as you know, we have our final exam this Friday night at 6.30 p.m. here, our building. Okay, so don't be late. Please come a few minutes early. Hey, if you walk in after the test has started, not only are you wasting time, valuable time on the test, but also you're interrupting uh, the other students. So make an effort, come here a few minutes early. You can sit down, get your pen and pencil out, you know, be prepared uh, and ready to go. Um, I look forward to seeing all of you uh, this, this Friday. Uh, we we ha have two different rooms because there's so many students. We can't put everybody in one room because of the social distancing uh, rules. And so I'll be in one room. Uh, there'll be a, a proctor, a university assistant in the other room. Uh, but I'll come into both rooms and say hello uh, before and after the test. Um, so I look forward to seeing all of you. And like I, I've told you what's on the test, I've told you what chapters to study. Um, Definitely focus a lot on the vocabulary and the grammar, but also the main points of the stories. The new stories that you will read will be based on the same topics. So being familiar with the topics and the vocabulary and whatnot, being familiar with that is gonna help you on the final. When you take the final, okay, you have one hour. Um, it's, you'll, you should be able to finish in time but you can't, you have to go somewhat quickly, right? You have to be focused and continuously working, I think, for one hour to get everything done. So you definitely come ready to work for one hour and take a test. If you do that, you should finish on time. And if you review well and prepare well, I think you can do well, and I hope you do. Today, uh, I just simply decided to do one, uh, one more video because I wanted to go over that listening test. There was at least one or two confusing things on it. Uh, most of you did quite well. Uh, the listening test is only 20% of your final grade, so a point here or there is not going to make a big difference. Um, I'm going to try to be as generous and fair as possible with the grading, uh, but I have to follow the university rules, of course, with the final grades. Um, so. Let me go over it uh, really quickly here. Um, if you're looking at your test, check all the answers and check yours. If there's any mistake or I, you think I made a mistake, email me. Um, or if there's anything you don't understand, email me. But otherwise, uh, the purpose of this video lecture is just so you can go over the listening test yourself. Okay, uh, A, match the words, uh, the vocabulary and the definitions. Number one, uh, dozen, J, 12 of something, dozen. Number two, breakdown is C, car breaking down, or uh, copy, photocopy machine breaking down, elevator breaking down, stop working. Number three, punctual is H, on time. Number four, uh, I, praise, is to say good things about. Uh, number five, uh, strict, B, very rule, following the rules. Number six, tuition. Uh, is D, uh, money that you pay for school. Number seven, neglect is to not take care of something, uh, E. Uh, number nine, uh, uh, sorry, number eight is F, eternity, forever. And number nine, commute, um, travel to work and back, A. And the last one, number 10, humid is G, hot and wet. Sip-hada. Okay, B, two po uh, one point each um, for this one, one point each. Number one, uh, complimentary. Uh, now, a lot of you made mistakes in section B. So these were some words, either you forgot them or maybe you were confused, but I wanted the words from the, the listening units, from the book. The purpose of the test was to review l words that we learned, words that we focused on, words from the book that we studied. Okay? That, those were the correct answers, okay? Free drinks on a flight, complimentary. That was in the travel unit, complimentary. Number two, it was either right or wrong, one point or zero. Number two, uh, one room apartment is a studio or studio apartment. 
not a one room, either studio or studio apartment for one point. Number three, 100% uh, full, fully booked. I think a couple people said full booked. And, uh, I gave you the point, but fully booked, not overbooked. No, that's more than 100%. Number three, fully booked. Uh, number four, illegal action to steal money, scam, S-C-A-M, illegal scam. Now, number five, unfortunately, there's a typo here. Uh, a few of you missed this, and a couple people emailed me. I understand the confusion, but it, what I wanted was another word. Now, yeah, another word, like number one, number word, number eight, number nine, word, word. It is a, mis it is a typo, and it is confusing. The answer is a course. Another word for university class is a course. Again, we most of you got this one right, but a number of you missed it, and I understand why. It's only one point. It, it, it's almost impossible that one point will make a difference in your final score, so don't worry too much about it if you're upset by it. I understand it was confusing, but the answer is course, and uh, again, most of you got it right. Number five, course. Number six, uh, again, number six and seven. Okay, I didn't, some of you said, uh, you came up, I wanted the words that we studied and those were take off and land, okay? When a plane departs, if you said depart, no, depart is in the question, okay? Departing, going up is taking off. Taking off or take off. That's the key word that we studied in the unit. Coming back, down is landing. Okay, take off or taking off for number six, landing or just land for number seven. Those were the only answers I accepted. Number eight, uh, platform, train is the platform. Number nine, airplane is gate. We talked about this in the video and in the book. Number eight, train, platform. Number nine, airplane, airport, gate. And number 10, uh, landlady, okay, woman. If you said landlord, no, lady is woman, landlady. Okay, again, most of you who lost points, lost them in section B and C. C, two points each. If you gave me the answer I wanted, you got two points. If you gave me something pretty good, okay, you got one point. If you showed some understanding, I gave you a point. Otherwise, you got zero, All right? Let's look. Enthusiastic, uh, full of positive energy, okay, very positive, very energetic, uh, very excited about something, two points. Can't stand means you hate, you really dislike, you really don't like. Uh, some of you said, I can't bear that person. Eh, okay, that was fine. Okay, hate, dislike, don't like, can't bear, anything like that, two points. Number three, there's no point, uh, it doesn't make sense. Or there's no reason. Uh, some of you said meaningless. I think, yeah, I gave you two points for meaningless. Not really the answer, perfect answer, but I still gave two points. So really, uh, no reason uh, doesn't make sense. Kind of means a little bit. In the context of our study, of our book, kind of means a little bit. I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, for two points, you had to say a little bit. And to purchase something is to buy something. Number five, buy. That's it, two points or nothing there. The last one, the assignment was to write a paper. Number one, paper. Number two, the runner will win the marathon if he can maintain his speed. Number two, speed. Number three, sales staff. The company's sales staff. Number three, staff. Number four, the concert was so big it had to be held in a stadium. Number four, stadium. Number five, the decorations for the princess's wedding were incredibly elaborate, really fancy, very intricate, very elaborate. Number six, he visited Greece to see all of the ancient buildings, ancient. Number six, ancient. Number seven, the old apartment was falling apart and required constant maintenance. Number seven, maintenance, care, taking care of something. Number eight, suburbs. I decided to leave the city for a quiet life in the suburbs. Number nine, the store was very convenient. Number nine, convenient. And number 10, hang out. I met my friends at the mall, so we could just hang out. All right, good work. Most of you did really well on the test. I'm very happy to see that. The final exam does not include material from listening. Okay? The final exam is based on the green main reading book 
and on the units I told you in the email. Okay. You've done a really good job so far. Uh, you guys have been great students. Um, I appreciate your hard work. It's not easy being online and doing work online. It's much better for everyone to be in class. I really hope we're all in class next semester. I don't know yet what the policy will be, uh, but we did the best we could in a difficult situation this semester. And I appreciate all the work you did and the patience you had to get through the course. Good work, everyone. You've all been very good students. And if you have that same positive attitude towards all your classes while you're here at Hongdae, I see that you will be successful in your academic career here. So keep up the good attitude and keep up the hard work. Final exam is Friday. Next Monday, I'm gonna send you an email for week 15. I simply want you to read it and just, if there's a small survey, just write a few sentences. You won't be graded on the work, but your attendance will be checked just if you, if you email me and you, you write down something to answer my questions. That's all you have to do and you get a full attendance and participation for week 15. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you on, uh, on Friday. Uh, for the final, good luck, study hard, be well prepared. I think you can do well if you prepare well. That's all. It's been great teaching you this semester. Thanks again for your hard work. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.